top five disappointing NFL teams. I'll cut. Sorry. Go ahead, crank it up, Jeff. I know this is. Woo, look at him. Look at him. I'm ready. <laughs> we need to have an intro music for this bad boy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with number five being the Lions. Disappointing. Like you would yeah, had higher I'm, expectations for. Yeah, because they pretty much. Well, you know, besides Deion, this was supposed to be the year for DeAndre Swift to break out. Like finally break out, break out. And um they they don't look as bad as people think they is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They have some some somewhat expectations, but they look they look they still mediocre. They still the lions, but they don't look half bad, but they've been disappointing. In times, you know, and when they post to, you know, close out games, they continue to lose them. So they done my number five, I should say. Okay. Um, scroll down a little bit for me, Bobby. Okay. I'm trying to pull up. Uh, you did. It's right here, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I want to give a quick shout out to the Thursday night football game. It's not a terrible one. Keep it going. All right, I got number four. I'm gonna go with the Pittsburgh Steelers because um, being a Mike Tomlin team, and you go down, can you go down for me, bro? Yeah. Right now they have three, three wins, six losses. And they they really did I think they fumbled the ball by not really giving Mitch a shot. I really don't like how they they transitioned because the fans were crying and put want, want to put um Kenny Pickett in there. Don't get me wrong, he hasn't Kenny Pickett has been average. He doesn't look great, but I think that they kind of stick with Mitch. They would have been in a better situation right now if they would have gave him the opportunity. But mm-hmm. again, they always I don't think they have everything. Then, then, you know, you make a couple moves, a couple trades that are going to give you some draft picks. So, I mean, we know they're retooling. They got some They got some defensive pieces, but I thought we will expect a better year from Pittsburgh. Um, my number three, I got to go with um, the L.A. Chargers. Um, despite having um, the, the, the injuries, you still got Justin Herbert. You still got some 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 top tier talent playing on defense. Derwin James is playing, um, but you know you, you're missing guys like you know Bosa, J.C. Jackson, and so forth. Um, and yeah, Keenan Allen, those especially Keenan Allen, I think he's a, a most the most inter- you know the piece that's missing in the puzzle when it comes to getting the ball rolling for Justin Herbert. You can see he doesn't even look the same. Um, when Allen's not in the lineup, you know, and even Mike Williams ain't even been in the lineup, you know, consistently. So, you know, we we I thought the Chargers was going to be one of those mm-hmm. teams that's going to be, um, the, you know, trying to challenge for the Super Bowl, but as we can see, um, they're nowhere near that. Um, I got I, I got two teams for for number two. Top five. I know, man, but I got to throw two teams at number two, man. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I got to go with the Raiders, and I got to go to the fucking Jaguars. And the reason why I put the Jaguars in this list is because majority, every every loss besides the, the, the loss against Kansas City has been only been one score. They cannot close games in the fourth quarter. It's been ridiculous. And then you let teams – when you score, you let teams back in the game with two minutes and you know two minutes left. It just don't make sense to me. Like, what are we playing? Um, NFL, we playing high school football at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, the coach um, Peterson got to get better as far as his game management. Um, Trevor got to get better as far as how he managed the games and, uh, and the play calling. You see something that don't look right, call an audible. Um, like that interception to Justin Simmons, that looked crazy. Uh, I'm just right now they they on the they, it's 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 
It's it's it's cringing watching them every week, man. Um, my second team, as an honorary mention, as number two as well, is the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, you made all those picks. You got all those. You got you brought Devontae Adams over there. You do all this shit, and you got two wins under your belt. You know what I'm saying? This kind of proves my point about Josh McDaniels. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's an NFL head coach. You know, the only thing he's known for and the reason why Broncos was winning all them damn games when he was playing before, when he was coaching before, is because they were taping sidelines. So, like, when you videotaping the sidelines and you, you've you been doing that Patriot shit, you know what I'm saying, you try to bring that same kind of shit to other teams and get caught, that's why you lost his job the first time, by the way. But now it shows that you're really not really a good football coach. And I really think they should get rid of his ass. But you went from being a playoff team last year and bringing one of the best receivers over there to being shit team this year doesn't make sense to me. And and number one, last but not least, is the fucking um, L.A. Rams. How you go from winning a Super Bowl team to being a shit team this year? Look like none of them want to play. Stafford has tunnel vision. He only sees one guy. Fucking defense playing horrible. It doesn't make sense to me. That's my list. Even though it's six teams, but I got two at number two. I think they deserve. Okay. Go ahead, Bobby. Crank it on up. You look like you're ready. Nah, that's not even the case. I'm just going to – Rams, because um, they don't really want to play. I mean, because Jeff kind of laid it, laid it out really well. Mm-hmm. I mean, I kind of – there's maybe well, two teams I don't really – maybe I wouldn't put in there, but definitely the Rams are my number one. Um, nobody's come to play. Uh, mm-hmm. Offense or defense. Uh, I thought the addition of Allen Robinson was going to be nice, but he's, he's – The he's, reason why he's not nice yeah. is because your boy Stafford has tunnel vision. <laughs> oh, it's sad because he's not, he's, not, he's, not, he's not even in the, the, the offensive game plan. You know, basically, <laughs> they're playing backyard football if he gets the ball. No, yeah, it's it's just couple, couple, a couple, uh, nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for real. So I, I'm really disappointed in the Rams. Uh, I really wish Aaron Donald would have retired because he doesn't want he wants to be out there no more. Rams, FYI, he, huh? we might see some different receivers this week because Cup is injured. Yeah, it's gonna have to force him, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm. I'm very disappointed in the Rams, man. That, they're my number one disappointing team. Uh, my second disappointing team is the, the Saints. What the hell happened to the Saints? You know, I, I was really high on the Saints. It was more high on their defense. was not high on James Winston. Uh, I, I, he's 30 for 30. Um, but I was ne- <laughs> never, <laughs> never high on James Winston. But I was more really high on their defense. And and I was really high. But I was high on the, the, the rookie that came out of Wake Forest, uh, Chris Alave or Alave. Uh, yeah. I've always liked. Oh. It. I remember watching it. I now that's Ohio State. Ohio State. Okay, I thought it was like for it. Um, but um, uh, but I was I like uh, I remember watching the draft and watching how they talked about him and watching his tape. I was like, okay, he's probably gonna be nice. Uh, but I've always kind of, he's always stuck with me. But um, but yeah, so I got the Rams. I have the Saints, Raiders. They're the uh, I don't know what the hell is going on with them, but I I don't know. I, I, I Derek Carr is not the problem. Oh, he's not a big of a part of the problem. But I just I said, I, but I did say this in our prediction videos. Devontae is not going to solve everything, you know, because it's more his game. I don't know. His game doesn't change life. He's just a, he's a great receiver, but his game doesn't change life. So it's not. I think it's just an all around team thing. Me. Yeah, they don't have no real run game. No real run game. I don't know. The defense is suspect. Um, I don't know if they even have a special team because I don't really remember that. But and it's funny because um especially where he comes from, you know, you play at all phases of the game and you know, hey Jeff was right, he is being exposed. Uh, he shouldn't be a coach, uh, uh Josh McDaniels. Um, yeah. but but I don't know if it means anything. You know, you got the the owner came out supported, and the players, Devonte and Carr, have supported him as well. So, uh, I just think it's a team thing because you know that 
What's name did come out and say, hey, this okay, head coach problem. It is. It is. So um, so I don't know. Um, my other team, uh, the Broncos. Never Broncos are a disappointment to me. Uh, I had them high as well. Um, Let's Russell, ride. Huh? Let's ride. That's right. Uh, he yeah. don't say that shit no more now. You notice that, right? He don't. He's a big disappointment to me. I thought um, – I just thought, like, you know, I, I think we talked about he plays scared. He plays like he doesn't know. I don't think so. I just think that um, – Second guessing. Yeah, okay. and then you, you, you your first read – your first read – you don't take your first read, you go with the second read, which don't make sense for me. He does that a lot now. And he never been that kind of guy in uh, Seattle. But then again, they had top-tier office coordinator and coaches. They, they more align over there in Seattle. We see in the real Russell Wilson that's from Wisconsin and Denver. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, I, I didn't watch on Wisconsin, but uh, <laughs> but, um, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just I just think he doesn't he doesn't have that same feel for the game like he used to. And he yeah, he's he's still, he, yeah, he's still a Super Bowl champ. Can't not 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 deny that at all. Yeah, yeah. him or Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch, bro. Are you serious? Yeah. That's what I said. That's what I said. Him or Marshawn Lynch, like uh, beast mode, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like I know he got a championship, but you know, what was he, the real he, anchor? He the dumbest. What, what was the real anchor? That's my thing. Yeah, th- that was the. Uh, let's. Uh, I want to talk about this a little briefly, man. I don't want to talk about it too much, but that was the dumbest play call I ever seen in my life. If you have a beast mode and you at one yard line. I don't give a fuck if it's fourth and one. I'm going with Marshawn Lynch. I'd rather lose that way than throw a fucking – I don't even know who he was throwing to. And he got intercepted by um, Butler. That kind of made his career because we ain't heard shit about Butler until that interception. And then try to make him to some kind of all-star after that shit. All right. Well, my last team uh, – would be the Colts. Uh, they're disappointing me. Uh, I had them high as well. Uh, and it's not so much as Matt Ryan's fault. It was more of just JT was out. He was hurt. He wasn't the was Injuries again. The injuries again. And yeah, Matt Ryan was out. JT was out. JT was out. And it just one performance. So, yeah, those are my top five teams. You know, they, they, they lost their coach, Frank Wright. Lost their coach. So, um, Jim Arce getting in the way, as he usually does. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so Another shit owner. Yep. Another owner who just doesn't know how to sit back and just let your team. Yeah, they do a lot of Vince Man shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It was Jeff Saturday got his first win. That was, that was crazy. Yeah. yeah but my team. I got. Man, got to win. His high school team went three and seven. So, um, I ain't too much excited about that at all. I didn't know that. Yeah, those are my team. Those are my team. Who you got, Adrian? Well, no particular order, but New Orleans Saints, I agree with Bobby on that one. Really just disappointed. I think we were just counting on their defense, especially with addition with the Honey Badger and knowing what their edge rushers can do. I think I think we were always expecting them to do a lot more, but I think they were counting on Jameis Winston and Amar, uh, what's his name, Alvin Kamara to, to help them out. I think they also was counting on that rookie to really step up with Michael Thomas out because, what, he's injured again? Out again. So, yeah. So, I think Saints is a big disappointment. Uh, The other one was the Raiders uh, because I was talking up Derek Carr. Like I'm saying, I kind of want to go back to that, find that video, delete that video, and then call Derek Carr on the phone and be like, he owed me some money. But, yeah, I think Las Vegas Raiders is a big disappointment, especially with addition of Adams. Uh, I don't really too much care about the head coach, but I really just think, what they did last year should have transitioned better. What year. they should have did was gave the coach last year. I, f- I forgot his name. I'm sorry. He was an interim coach. He came in and he did a great job. Solid. He should have got that job. Yeah. But what they wanted to do was bring a hot name in like Josh McDaniels and think shit was gonna change around. They but even that. but even with that hot name, well, even with Josh McDaniels, I mean, still the same. The only big difference is what. There's only one big difference is is, is Adams, right? Like yeah. I mean, they still they still should have a better record than what they're sitting at too. Exactly. 
they should still, I mean, I mean, hell, damn, they should be ahead of the Falcons. Falcons is four and six. And they playing with nowhere near the same kind of talent level. That's cr- correct. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, they should be the number one disappointment of the season. And then my third one is uh, Denver Broncos. I agree. You know, Russell Wilson is looking pretty fraud. But, you know, they stuck with him. That's what they signed him for. So they got him. Uh, yeah. Uh, Chargers. I don't know if Chargers like a big disappointment to me, but I just – I, th- I think we're not the seeing expectations. Those, the expectations. I, I, I'm, I don't think we're seeing like these games that we're expecting them to be playing. Like, like they're winning games, but it's like struggle wins. It's like, man, like I'm surprised you won. Like, damn, how did you win? Damn, why did you win? Uh, the other one for me was uh, somebody already said it. Uh, I can't remember who said it, but it was a uh, dancer with no Jaguars. Pittsburgh. Yeah, Jeff, you said it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I, yeah, I, I mean. Only reason why I'm a little disappointed because of what all they have uh, defensively, you know, I, I, it's still a steel curtain, right? Uh, no, nah. no, well, no. Nah, so. They lost. They lost Watt. <laughs> yeah, um, but I mean, we. But he's always injury prone. I mean, the whole Watt family. No, nah, why? Why not? Not um. TJ. Not TJ. JJ yeah. is. Yeah, but TJ has got overrated. I'm so yeah. sick and tired of <laughs> put that guy on the um. Uh, <laughs> Oh no, on the strategy. I'm so tired, man. I'm tired, man. But yeah, let's go ahead and finish it off. Rams, I don't even know. I just I don't even know if it's dis- yeah, it's a disappointment. Call it what it is. Ain't no point to waste my breath on them. I think that's pretty much it for me. Oh, and Green Bay. So but uh Green Bay. I didn't really have Green Bay. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Green Bay's disappointing. I mean, yeah, it is I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, do you, I mean, you really expected to be a four and sixteen? No. Oh, no. yes. But who they no, have? Why? Why would you think they'd be four and six? They had the same team they had last year. Minus um, your boy, um, Devontae. I, I, I mean, I'm not gonna say I didn't expect the four and six, but I just I didn't expect the big. I mean, they're struggling right now with Tennessee. I didn't. I didn't. At home. You know, you just have the perfect marriage. And I think for him and Devontae just did the perfect marriage.